Greetings of peace and love, my people, and Renee, your love power goddess. And today I did something that I've never done before. I decided to go to two different restaurants, soul food restaurants in Oakland, just to check out what they got. I went to Solely Vegan, where everything is vegan, even this fish, <laughs> Mash, uh, potatoes, the barbecue. And then I went to Brown Sugar Kitchen, where the food is really, there's real meat. And, uh, well, let me give my review, okay? I had the chicken and waffles from Brown Sugar Kitchen, which they are famous for. The place was hopping. It's off in the uh, boondocks, the lower bottoms in Oakland, California, over there where uh, the lofts and uh, gentrification of a sort happens down there. It's sort of like a, a industrialized area, so you see lots of truckers and trucks. It's not far from the Oakland port, port of Oakland. And so she set up this restaurant over there, and it has blossomed and bloomed, and it's famous. And uh, I wanted to check it out. So I went and bought some meat, and they have chicken and the waffle. And man, let me tell you something. <laughs> I did not like that chicken, okay? Although the servings are really fat, big piece of chicken breast, I already ate the chicken leg, and the seasoning on it, to me, doesn't evoke southern cooking to me. I don't know, it's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, plus, it seemed like the chicken was not quite done, especially because they have such big fat pieces. And uh, the waffle, though, was on point. I went on their website and found a, uh, a video that talks about how she makes, well, she gives little hints about what she does to make her waffles. She puts a little cornmeal in her waffles, so it comes out a little, it comes out not so mealy or whatever, but whatever she did, those waffles were on point. Then they give you this uh, apple butter and some kind of a, a maple syrup thing that to me was super sweet. I'm just not used to eating like this anymore. <laughs> and this chicken fell into my belly like a lead, <laughs> like a lead ball. I'm telling you, I don't know. It was not completely cooked. It was sort of, uh, somewhat medium rare to me. And I can't stand it when chicken is like that. And I gotta also say that, uh, I'll bought this first, and then I drove around to get to Solely Vegan, so it's something like uh, 45 minutes later, almost 45 minutes to an hour later when I'm sitting here eating it, so it sort of did get a little soggy. Now, they do have uh, this cake right here, uh, uh, upside down peach cake. It's off the chain. That's, that's good, okay? <laughs> that's all I had. I just had uh, the main menu, and usually when you go in there, they say that you can't take out the chicken and waffles. Maybe that's why, because you got to eat it on the spot because it changes texture if you take it. <laughs> I don't know, but he let me buy, maybe because it was late in the afternoon. It was two o'clock when I went over there and it closed at three. They only serve breakfast and brunch. So, uh, yeah, not too impressed. In fact, not impressed at all. Probably won't go back there again, at least not for chicken. I'll get their waffle and you can do that. You can just order waffles, <laughs> but skip the chicken. The chicken was, ugh. Maybe it's just me. I can't eat chicken like that no more. It's not no big chunks like that. <laughs> Although I had been eating African soups, and there is meat inside of those, but you're not getting no gigantic big old chunk of chicken like that. Ooh, it's like, oh my God. It's like, I almost died trying to eat that. It's going to take me a couple of days to try to eat that, maybe longer. <laughs> On the other hand, solely vegan, okay? Solely vegan is off the chain. This food is delicious, and it's it's solely vegan. Soul food, vegan soul food, okay? And what we have here are the black eyed peas. Oh my god, you can't even see this. Let me try to get into the light. The winner right here is this fish, okay? This fish is not, I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> it's not fish. It's uh, It might be uh, tofu, but the way they breaded it, this thing makes you think you're eating fish. I mean, even when you put it up to your your nose and smell it, it smells like fish. I don't know how they do that, but it's off the chain. It's kind of tough, but, oh man, <laughs> that's pretty damn good. <laughs> so you get your fake fish made out of tofu, 
<laughs> you got your greens. Let me pull this in the light. You got barbecue tofu. Let me get this in the light for you guys can see what I'm talking about here. See that barbecue tofu with some kind of special barbecue sauce off the chain. The greens are off the chain because they are not overdone. They're not cooked long, long, long. The way we're used to it. And then, uh, I guess those are, yeah, those are the lentils. The lentils are off the chain. Then they have this uh, pasta right here. It's their version of mac and cheese, I guess. But it's not the regular elbow macaroni that you would think. It's this big, fat, fluffy pasta. And I don't know what they did because it's not cheese. <laughs> but it's off the hook. It's delicious. Okay, it's, it's really good. And then... I got the potatoes, the yams. Oh man, <clears throat> you can't even see it. But believe me when I tell you, the yams are off the hook. Okay. And then I got their cornbread. Cornbread is off the hook. They got some kind of herb in it. It's got a sweetness to it, but there's some kind of speckled green in it. So I'm not sure what they did, but it's off the hook. And what else? Oh yeah, the peach cobbler and the potato salad that I haven't tried yet. So what I did, and let me tell you something. When you go to uh, Brown Sugar Kitchen, you're going to pay uh, $20 for uh, two pieces of chicken and a waffle with their, their homemade uh, maple syrup and apple butter. That's 20 Right here, I already ate the waffle. It was off the chain. It's nice big. You only get one waffle, one nice size waffle. This cake, two pieces of chicken. One waffle, slice of cake, two pieces of chicken. $25, okay? <laughs> I never did that in my life. Probably never will again either. On the other hand, you go to Solely Vegan, you get their uh, combo platter, their sample platter. You get all this stuff, okay? You get all of this. You get your fish, tofu fish. You get your yams. You get your mac and cheese. You get your barbecue... And this thing tastes off the chain. Barbecue tofu, you get your lentils, you get your greens, you get your black eyed peas, you get your mac and cheese, you get your uh your potato salad, you get your uh peach cobbler, and you get your cornbread. That costs uh twenty-five well without the peach cobbler, the peach cobbler is not part of that. These items $23 for all this, okay? The fish, the potatoes, yams, as you say, piece of cornbread, the potato salad, you got your barbecue, you got your mac and cheese, you got your black eyed peas, you got your greens, and you got your lentils. All of that, $23. And then when you add this, $20, now I paid $29 for all of this, okay? Way more food, and it tastes better. It's more evocative of soul food, you know. And it's off the chain. I definitely will go back to uh, Solely Vegan, okay. And when I do, <laughs> I'm going to probably buy this same platter. Now, this is enough food that's going to last for a minute, okay. This fish is just off the chain. I get to have fish. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they... Oh, man. It's tofu. <laughs> Big ass piece of tofu. Man. Mm. Oh, I need some tartar sauce. <laughs> That's off the hook. Mm. And the trip too. She came out because I went after hours. I mean, after the rush. So it was only like one other white girl in there eating. That white girl had a plate piled so high. <laughs> I don't know what she, oh my God, I'm not sure how she could have possibly sit there and eat. She had more food on her plate than I got right here. <laughs> but she was tearing it up though. So yeah, I went after I was when I was able to order real quick. And as soon as I got in there and ordered, four Rastamon came in behind me ordering big ass plates of food. And then the owner, Miss Soli Vegan, came out. <laughs> I turn around, oh, and I told her, oh, it's you. <laughs> she said, yeah, it's me. Oh, she was so nice and so sweet. 
I should have said, let me take a picture with you, please. Oh, man, she have her wall of uh, fame. She got pictures of her and Dick Gregory and all kinds of other people. I think a picture of Professor Griff. There's somebody on there wearing some kind of Moorish clothing. And I'm like, who is this young man? He looked familiar. This, I think that is him, Professor Griff, which would make sense. I mean, I, if anything, I would imagine he's a vegetarian or a vegan. So, yes, my people, yeah, solely vegan. I'm definitely going back. You get some food when you go up in that mug. I gotta taste this. This is the last thing. This is the only thing I haven't tasted. Let's try it right now in front of you all. Let's see what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's pretty damn good. It's on the salty side. It's on the salty side. But it's good. Usually, for me, the only kind of macaroni... Um, Potato salad that I eat is my own mother's or my own. <laughs> Everybody else's tastes like garbage. <laughs> There's only a few people who I can eat their potato salad. And it's like that. Everybody have their own taste for that kind of stuff. But this is off the hook. So yes, my people, if you find yourself in Oakland and you are a vegan and you like soul food, then go to soul, Solely Vegan, okay? on Broadway and 3rd Avenue in downtown Oakland, okay? Peace and blessings, people.